your faith in Jesus now. Let his power reach down inside you. He can make you hope now. I feel the power of mighty power reaching down his head.
gotta be my home. Jerusalem was shaking, hands across that run. In the upper room, get drunk on a new one. Well, Peter stood among them.
God's told me that the way the way to do that is through obedience. Yes. Uh, we can't we can't fulfill what His plan is for our life unless we're obedient. Unless we're obedient. Amen. Amen. Really. You know, right. We have uh, you can go to 
Second Timothy chapter three. I should have had that marked in my Bible. Um, verse uh, 16 and 17 we'll look at chapter 3 <coughs> got it? Amen. 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 Amen all scripture is given by inspiration of God how many believe that? Amen, Amen. We can't leave any of it out, you know. We got we can't pick and choose. So. And and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. All good works. You know, we got we got a little work to do after we get saved. We you know we talked about that before. You know, it's it's uh he he requires some things of us. Uh, the Bible is our instruction manual. Amen. You know, we're, we are a purchased possession. Blood bought. Blood bought. We have an everlasting lifetime warning. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Full cover. Yeah. Uh, now, wait a minute here. I got some fine print. It says some restrictions apply. A manufacturer has the right to void the warranty if instructions are not properly followed. That's a fact. That is a fact. That gives us trouble. Yeah. It was sounding pretty good for a while there. Was... Things, may, things that may void your warranty include, but are not restricted to the following. He that loveth the Father, or he that loveth this world, is not of the Father. I have gone to prepare a place for you. Revelation 21, 27. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever work of the abomination or make a lie. Amen. Only those that have the lifetime warning. <laughs> Galatians 6, 8 says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh void his warning. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Go to Romans chapter 12. I'll say this while you're looking that up. Galatians 5.19 says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these things that will void your warranty. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such the like, of the which I tell you before, I, and I, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise void your warning. Okay. Uh, you got Romans chapter 12? Oh, yeah. I wanted everybody to see this instead of just reading it. I, verse 1 I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. You know, uh, and. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable perfect, perfect will of God. You know, it, it's a reasonable thing for God to expect us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. You know, uh, Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice for us that we could be set free from sin. Amen. And so that we could receive our lifetime warning. So it's reasonable for him to expect us to be transformed by the renewal of our minds, proving that we are Christians. Amen. You know, uh, in Luke 5, 37, 38, Jesus said, And no man puts new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. Yeah. 
but new wine must be put into new, new bottles, bottles and both are preserved. You know, we have to become a new creature. Yes, amen. And uh, I'm, about done. I'm about to get done with the hard stuff here. It's going to be a little better. Than that. Start loving this yeah, it takes it takes you know it takes a lot of effort to keep this flesh under subjection. You yes, know, it's it something that we have to work at. Yes. Um, he, he gives us all the tools to overcome, but he doesn't take our free will away. You know, we we've we've got to have a will to want to please God. And uh, he he has to be our master. You know, we call him Lord. So he has to be our master, you know. We have to listen to him. And he has to be number one in our life. His number one commandment is to love the Lord our God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And uh, in Romans 6, 16, the Bible tells us that we are the servants to whom we yield ourselves to obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. So, you know, we do have a things that we got to do, you yes, know, sir. to please the Lord. Uh, Luke 6.46 says, And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? Yeah. You know, really think about that. You know, how are we going to call him Lord and Master of our life and not do what he tells us to do? Yeah. You know? Amen. Uh, these are all just things that God's been working on me about. I'm preaching to the choir here, you know. <laughs> and, and Obedience... <coughs> it'll just make everything a lot easier all the way through this, through this you know through this walk that we have uh, Proverbs 3 5 says trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding you know there's there's a lot of times that like my sister said back there we just don't understand what's going on you know but we have to trust in the Lord trust with all our heart That's right. know, all the way and uh the that's the only way you're going to get the victory. Amen. You know, Amen. That's what this message is about. There's no other about. way, the song said. No other way. That's what this message is about, Amen. getting the victory. Uh, Brother Bobby, when he was preaching the other night, uh, yeah, it was good. You know, he, he gave us good testimony about that. You yes, know, sir. he didn't know what he was going good through. And <coughs> he, he stayed strong in the Lord and he brought him through it. And he got the victory. Amen. When, when we have a, a winning testimony like that, you know, it's a, it lifts up the whole body. You know? Amen. We, we can all draw strength yes, from that. Yes, you absolutely. Know? And uh, we're not going to get those victories unless we're obedient. You know, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Uh, it's, you know, uh, we have to, we really have to stay on guard because the devil's always putting stumbling blocks in our way and working night and day you know he's he's his whole purpose is to kill steal and destroy yes, so we have is. to be on guard you know uh, we, we let our guard down and satan's able to hit us with those fiery darts you know he's always trying to hit us and uh, we really we really got to be like the karate kid you know he's like <laughs> Wax on, wax, wax on, on, wax on. Wax on. <laughs> Eli, how many seen that movie? Yeah, more than once. That was. Yeah, it's good. I think I, I that was about 25 years ago when that came out. You know, I was, I was taking uh, karate lessons at the time. I remember that. You know? I went and seen all that. And that was good. But yeah, what it was, if, if you didn't see it, it was the movie was about a, a skinny little kid that the, these. Bullies. Uh, bullies. Boys, these bullies from a, a karate school, they were beating him up and, you know, they were after him all the time. And, and uh, one time they were beating him up and and uh, this Korean man, he, he saved him, you know, while they was doing it. His, his name was uh, Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. And uh, after he saved, Dan, Daniel was the boy's name, after he saved him from, from this... Uh, and his son. He he ended up they ended up being good friends, you know, and he he teaches him. him. Yes, he did. He's teaching karate, and uh, you know, you might think this is kind of crazy, but I did too when he gave it to me, you know. But you know, God God has a way of taking the foolishness of this world and confounding the wise, you know. So, Absolutely. So we don't want to. 
parables. It's parables. Make it jump to any right. rash judgments here or anything, that's right. you know. I'm going to wait and see what happens. But uh, at Mr. Miyagi, he took Daniel home and he he started uh, <laughs> he started uh, working. He, he was working him actually. He he uh, he had a big old car collection and old old classic cars and and he had him. Cleaning, all cleaning those cars, all up. wax on, wax yeah. off. He told me, you know. Wax on, <laughs> and uh, he, had to, he had to uh, paint the fence. Yeah, and, paint the fence. And he had to sand the deck at the house, yeah, you know. And the did all this, and uh, he had to. He really had to work, you know. He had to uh, work from day from daylight to dark, you know, every day. He couldn't and, figure out why he was and no, you know, he didn't tell him why he was doing all this. He couldn't figure it out, you know. He didn't know what he was going through. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but what it was, he he had to learn to trust his master. That's they, it. You know, the, That's the, the, uh, in karate, the the teacher is Absolutely. called the master. Yes. He had yes. to learn to trust the master, and yep. he had to be made strong. It. He had to get that flesh under subjection, you know, <laughs> and. Uh, I want to get my brother Tony to come up and show you a little bit about what was going on there. <laughs> he had to, he's always beating up on me when we slow. <laughs> the other way around. But he, he, he oh, uh, Daniel, whenever, uh, after, uh, after he'd done waxed all the cars and painted the fence, you know, he told him to paint, paint one board with this hand, up, down, up, down, and paint the other board with this hand, you know, he was working him out, he had to get all these muscles, he didn't even know why he was doing it all, but after he did all that, he, he was sanding the deck, you know, and he told him, sanding in big circles, you know, one hand and the other, and, uh, it, it was getting dark, and he, you know, he was, he was getting kind of fed up with all this. Yeah, he was. He thought Mr. Miyagi was going to teach him some karate. You know? yep. Karate. So he, uh, he decided it started getting dark, and he decided he was going to quit. You know? Just quit. When it starts getting dark, you know, you can't give up. You got to, everybody look down. What do you see? When Whatever you look down, says. When you look down, all you see is defeat. Yeah, you you're, yeah. <laughs> oh. you look up. Oh. Defeat. Oh. So, oh. 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 So you can't do that. You can't I love that. it. You gotta look up to Jesus. When you get when you get I love it. But anyway, <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. He decided he was going to quit, and he, and he got. He told Mister Miyagi. He said. He said. Uh, you haven't. Made good on your word, you know. You you told me you was going to teach me karate, and all I'm doing is being your slave. Uh -huh. Well, Romans six eighteen says, "Being then made free from sin, you became servants of righteousness." You know. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's right. <laughs> well, he told Daniel. He said, "He said, uh, see, he's going to, here comes the master, going to show him that he was learning, and even though he didn't know it through his trial, he was learning." You know. He said. He said, "Show me." Wax on, wax off. And Daniel, he started to get down on here, you know. He said, ah, no, no, stand up, stand up. He said, show me wax on, wax off. And Daniel, he goes, <laughs> no, no, no. He says, he takes, his, he takes his hand. This hand is wax on and this hand is wax off. He said, do it with authority. Turn this hand out. <laughs> This way, wax on. This hand is wax off. Wax on, left hand, wax off, right. Then he, he begins. He begins to punch at Daniel. He used to beat me up when we were kids. So. Wax on his left hand. Okay. You blocked that. Okay. Okay, then he we said. We can have show, an incident here. He said, Joe, sand the floor. Don't get mad. Sand the floor. I remember those old days, Joe. Yeah, sand the floor. Pay attention, Daniel, son. You might get hurt. Sand the floor. Sand the floor. Okay, both of you. Sand the floor. Okay. Sand the floor, left hand. Left hand. <laughs> Oh, you're going to get hurt. <laughs> the floor. Block it. There you go. 
Yes. 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 Daniel was learning all this stuff, even though he didn't know when he was going through all this that he was learning. And, uh, you know, Jesus takes us through the same kind of thing. He does. You know? It's like yeah, sister was testifying, Brother Bobby, I, you know, everybody's been through something, you know. Absolutely. When, when we're going through these things, we don't understand it, but there's there's light at the end of the tunnel. Well, the you know? He's Follow teaching the us. Master. He's teaching us Amen. during the trials, you know. Yeah. Uh, he gives us the power. Amen. To to tread on serpents. Yes, he does. And uh, <coughs> we just have to learn how to exercise exercise yep. that That's authority right. that we have. Right. Yes. Yeah, power. And uh, I'm going to show you. Trust show him. You. This is just a little little uh, example of. Turn it this way. I'm Don't hit his fingers. Are you going to break it? Anybody could draw way back here and break this board. It's real easy like that. You know. Uh, but but uh, there's in karate. Uh, Do it with us. You learn that you have to be able to do this stuff from from any kind of angle. You know, you get in a grappling situation and everything, and, and uh, you have to learn that also that speed is power. And uh, the faster we learn what Jesus wants us to do, the better off we're going to be. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I'm going to show you that it doesn't take a big a lot of time if if you do it the right way. You know, I haven't done this for years. I mean years. My battle's not with my battle's not with flesh and blood anymore. It's with powers and principalities. Well, I'm I'm still, yeah. Yeah. Straight in your arms up there. You can just come from right here and just real easily break <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that can when you get done. Yeah. And if you're, if, if the devil's really got you bound up, you know, you sometimes you don't have room to do all that. You just get it with that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Daniel, he ended up entering a, a, a tournament. Tournament. Right, tournament. Yes. And, uh, Daniel saw him. The, the final blow that won the tournament for him was something called a uh, crane, crane technique. Crane. Yeah, I like that one. I yeah. know when my grandkids do crane, the crane. He had to, you, you'll be a little bit here. He had to, <laughs> he had to uh, learn, after this was, it, it took something different to teach him on it. He had to learn balance. Yes, balance. absolutely. You know, we have to learn balance in absolutely. our life too. And, uh, he took him out on the water in a little small boat, and he's standing on the front of it, and he was shaking the boat all around so he could teach him how to be able to stand on his feet, you know. we got to learn to do that, too. Oh, we, yes, we do. You know, we, we start out at a crawl, then oh, we God. learn how to walk, and we got to learn to, mm -hmm. you know, keep our balance no matter what the devil's doing to us. And, uh, Amen. And uh, then he, he had him standing on a post to, to learn this this mm -hmm. technique, this kick. Absolutely. I don't even know it. I'm just... But <laughs> it's not one of my things when I was taking karate, but you know, I'm going to try to... But sometimes, sometimes even though you don't know, you got to step out in faith, you know, and, and believe that you can do what... God tells you yes, to do. Yes, amen. Absolutely. And uh, with with Daniel, he, he had him standing on that post for hours. He's standing on there, and, and he's yep, like, just like he that. started out like he's real shaky. He's trying to kick, you know, from standing on that post, and he couldn't he couldn't do it at first. But you know, after a while, he he got grounded, you know, and uh -huh. and started being able to keep his balance and uh -huh. and everything. And then he learned this and. Uh, when he went into that tournament, uh, 
there was a, the, the karate instructor for that that school. He uh, he was kind of evil. He, he was evil. evil. He was like the old devil. <laughs> and yeah, he he took and he had one of his students kick Daniel in the knee with an illegal kick to take him out of the tournament. You know, and uh, but he didn't give up. Right, he didn't give up. <laughs> and uh, he come he come back in. To, he only had 15 minutes to recover, or he would be disqualified. You know, by fall. And uh, so <clears throat> he came back in, and he he ended up winning his rounds. But then he but then he had to face the toughest boy in that school. You know, and. Uh, with his knee all messed up and everything, and, and uh, he he he, had, he ended up letting fear take over, you know, take overcome him, and, and he was he was actually running out of, off the mat, you know, because he was afraid of this boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Miyagi, he said he said uh, it's okay to lose to your opponent, but not to fear, you know. We can't. That's that's a huge thing for us, you know. Absolutely. Under, overcome that sure fear, is. you know, because. Uh, mm -hmm. Fear will actually cause bad things to happen. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. you fear, that's usually that's what will happen. You know, it says yes. as a man thinks he is. Yes. So, uh, we have to learn to overcome that fear. Yes. And uh, Daniel, uh, he he got he got him. You know, we got to exhort one another sometimes too. You know, he got him exhorted and he got up and decided yes. he was going to get back in there. Yeah. He what he told him was, he said, uh, Daniel son. Best, your best karate still inside. Now time to bring it out, you know. <laughs> and, and that's that's what happened with my sister, you know. So it's time to bring it out. Sure. You know? That power that power's in there. We Hallelujah. Just learn how to use, use it. it. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, uh, after at, what he that he did that that crane technique and and won this tournament. And what the idea of the crane technique is is to is just to confuse your opponent, you know. Mm -hmm. You can imagine a crane, how they, they're a skinny bird and really don't have much defense against any predators or anything, but when they spread those wings out, they look a lot bigger, you know. They, they're, it's deceiving to their opponent, and uh, that's what that is. It, it actually just confuses your opponent, you know. And, and uh, once, once he mastered that move, uh, Mr. Miyagi said, uh, if done correct, no can defense. That's what he told you. <laughs> so, uh, so if you do it right, if we do this thing right, the devil can't. Amen. All right. So, yeah. Amen. You right. know, I'm going to try to step out on faith and, and believe that I can break that board <laughs> with, this, with this kick, and I've never even tried to do it. Oh, Hallelujah. I'm getting old, so you're going to hold it down. Yourself, brother Tony. What it was, he, he, he had him stand like on that post, you know, and he had to put this leg up. And your opponent thinks that something's going to happen with this leg because this one's planted on the ground, this one's in the air, so you can't do anything with this leg. Uh -huh. That's where that's where it tricks him. Yeah. He spreads his wings and he's. How I live. <laughs> things that we have to 
work hard at overcoming. It's different for each one of us. The key, the key is have a, a repenting heart. Amen. You know, Daniel, uh, what was the other, the other Daniel in the Bible, wasn't it? But he, or no, it was David. David, he got off into all kinds of stuff, but he had a repenting heart. So, he always had a repenting heart. You know, that's, that's why we, we can fall as long as we don't stay. Get that's right. Amen. Amen. Get up. Amen. <coughs> Jesus, the, the, the thing that we have to do is learn to listen to the Spirit. Jesus said that in John 10, 22, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Yes. <clears throat> the natural man that receives not the things of the Spirit of God for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can we know that, or neither can he know them because they are spiritually Seriously discerned. discerned. You know? Amen. Uh, that's that's uh, the key right there is to listen to the Spirit. Uh, that's mastering the crane technique. Is what that is. Amen. Because, like I said, the Amen. Devil. Uh, John John five eight or First John five eighteen says, "We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he but keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not." You know, when the only, the only way that the devil can hurt us is if we get into sin. Amen. You know, that's what this scripture is saying. Uh, I, I, I mean, really, I don't. I don't believe that all the things that we go through are, are from the devil. We like to think. Well, that. No, no, no. no. Uh, I agree. Absolutely. You know, like, like with Daniel, you know, he went through a lot of stuff there, but it was his master that was putting it. It was an equal, yeah. Bringing to where he needed to be. You know? Absolutely. Uh, sometimes all the things that we perceive as being bad, you know, are, are uh, actually going to help us in the long run. That's right. You know? Teachers. Going to let me Joseph. Teaching us, yes. You know, it's... Uh, <clears throat> I, <coughs> I want to let everybody know before I go any farther that... Shine, let it shine.